All right, welcome back. I have a quick video today only because I am in a rush, so I, <laughs> I'm still working on my bedroom. <laughs> it's not yet finished, but at least I have ideas for it this time. Okay, so I'm quick, I'm in a rush. So today I just quickly wanted to show you inside the math. Now, math, what we're doing, because I'm, I wanna make sure that they know all the basics before we move on, because yes, they do grasp them, but I wanna make sure like they really, really get it. And so I was like, all right, well, what am I gonna do is I need a super simple math curriculum because the math curriculums I have, it wasn't working because it was taking a lot of time to sit down, go through the materials, open it up, get the DVD out. And I was like, Ugh, I want something super simple where one page a day we sit down and do it. And the simplest math curriculum I know of was Math Mammoth. So then, I know it doesn't end here, so that I'm like, okay, we'll do the second book of year one of Math Mammoth, just to make sure we got it down pat because subtraction is usually harder for kids and like I, they get it, but I just, I don't know. I just wanted to make sure we totally get it before we move on. Cause at any point that I'm like, okay, this is too easy. Well, then we skip ahead a few pages and then we move up, we pack it in, whatever. I know this is like, math is my worst subject that I'm least dedicated to, but that I think about the most. I know it's like so confusing. <laughs> So then I'm like, okay, well then I'm gonna do math mammoth. And I pull out our old math mammoth books, cause you know I have probably every math curriculum and then um, almost every math curriculum. And then, so I'm going through these other, the Singapore math, which I fell in love with, which I love, which I adored, which I wanted to do. And which I just, we've been traveling the last couple of weeks. We homeschool you around, so it wasn't necessary, but we were still doing a lot of schoolwork. We just weren't doing math. And I was like, okay, well, let me explain to you what happened. Here we go. So I go, okay, we're gonna do math, man. That's super simple, right? Like, cause look at this. So you open it up. This is 1B, okay? So 1A is addition, so 1B. Like addition is subtraction with six, seven, eight, and nine, okay? And then we got minutes, time. So all good things, shapes, which, you know, we all know this stuff. So like, so okay, here's some games. Here's some websites if you need more, but essentially it's literally open and go. So addition facts. Addition and facts with four, right? This is basically like the teacher's manual here, except it's not the teacher's manual, it's the student's manual. It explains a bunch of stuff, which you get. And then facts with five, and then it's asking you to fill some in. Okay, so you do page one. So you do one page a day, essentially, right? Which not really, because it's we would do, I would have them do that and then pick two of these, like two columns. For example, the next day do the next two columns or something. So whatever, and then, so page two. Okay, so you get it. This is using a number line because sometimes it's easier to use a number line. This is subtraction facts with six. All right, subtraction facts. So just to get extra practice, so I've decided I'm going to do both, do that. But then also when we're at breakfast, because if you're doing a new habit, so, so I homeschool breakfast, lunch, and dinner. No, breakfast, lunch, snacks. Okay, so we get a lot done. We get history, science. I mean, a ton of subjects are covered then during that. So I was like, okay, well, I want to start doing math every day. What do I do? Not every day, but most days. How do I do that? So I'm going to pair it with a meal we already have. I've already done that. I've already started doing it with Singapore. However, you do have to wait till people finish what they're eating. So then I was going through because I was like, okay, well, I'm just going to stick with this. I'm not going to do this. This was on my shelf. And I sat down. And I was like, why did I like this again? because it's great, that's why I like it. So look at this, this is the workbook, this is the textbook, so this is 1A. Pretty easy stuff, but I just wanted to show you it, just to show you what we're working with. So this is the workbook, and then I thought I would just order another workbook and they could each do one page of this a day. I know, I can't decide. So once again, with math, I still cannot decide, which is a thing, so look at this. This is, they want you to make stories. So there are six children, four of them are boys, okay? So how, there are blank girls. There are six fish all together, two fish. But then as you go on, it gets a little more complicated because then they're like, they say, okay, tell two different stories for each picture. So it's all about stories. Math is about stories. So I really like that concept. I love Singapore math. And I was like, all right, well then maybe I'll get two of these and have them go through that. So let me show you the textbook. So then at breakfast, we would sit there and we would just like fill in the missing numbers. I would have one kid do one, then I have the other kid do another, and then back to this one, just orally. And uh, I would write it in or not write it in, but however. So look at this book. This is, that's the table of contents. So you see, you start off with numbers. I mean, it's just super simple. I'm now count backwards, and now we're into stories. Addition with number bonds, it's big into number bonds. So I just adore it, so I don't know what to do again. Year after year with math, every single subject I nail down. I go, we want to do this, we want to do this, we want to do this, we want to do this. That's what we're going to cover. <sighs> every year of math, like for the last few years, we do this math for a year and then I'm like, 
we're not doing it enough or it's whatever. And I decide to switch and then, <sighs> so my new thing is that I guess I might get a bunch of these, like the Singapore math, the primary, the primary version is my favorite version of the Singapore and go with a few of those. So I don't know, but at least you got to look in some super simple math if you want, cause then you can be like workbook, like one page a day. It's not overwhelming. Like there's not a ton of questions on the page. There's, you know what I'm saying? Like there's not a lot of questions. This is the teacher's manual. It is really simple to read and explains to you very simply. It is not complicated. It has like, let me show you a lesson so you can see like just the beginning. See, it says textbook. These are the pages you're gonna do. Like the workbook pages, these are them. And this is the teaching activities that you can do and how to explain it. So it's pretty simple. And you do, there's not a ton of teacher work. So I probably will do one page a day maybe because exercise 31 or maybe just one exercise a day. No, it's got a few on there. With a short attention span, you gotta just do like one a day. So one page a day, one page, color the third glass, the first, which one's the third? Color three flags, color the fifth fan, color, you know, five butterflies. So you see, I like it, it's great for ADHD kids because it's, it's like not overwhelming when you look at that book. It's very clearly laid out. There's not a ton of colors. There's not a ton of stuff. Whereas this is also great, but even I, when I look at it, is very overwhelming. And it is, especially to my child that has ADHD, pretty overwhelming. It is the other child if you make him do every single question on the page. Because like, when you get down to, okay, last thing, then I gotta go. But when you get down to, I mean, there's like, <laughs> there's not as much math as the other one, but it's, <laughs> you have, see that? You have quite a bit of questions on one page, so. Yeah. Anyway, I have some more thinking to do. But I think the easiest of G, Singapore math, open up a page, have them do a page a day before they, it's just on their checklist. Just like, it's like, hey, you got to put your laundry away. Hey, you got to do a page of math. So yeah. And then I'll just read the textbook to them at breakfast because I don't have to do it that often. And then for that week, they'll have a bunch of pages they can do pretty simply. Sit down, knock it out one a, one a day. I don't, yeah. We'll see how it goes. Bye bye. Please wait to the five. Yes. And, and hit the bell for notifications.